This is the Rita Cosby Show. Some startling medical news. The International Diabetes Federation is predicting that at least 1 in 10 adults could have diabetes by 2030. And that by that same time, 552 million people could have diabetes. That is a huge amount. And often it is leading to death, including in developing countries. Of course, in some other countries, you're not surprised in Africa and others uh, where they have infectious diseases. It's been that has been the top killer. But now it could jump to diabetes. It is staggering. Uh, what's the cause of this? How can it be prevented? Let's bring in Dr. Fred Vanini, diabetes expert, uh, also uh, head of Heart Diabetes and Weight Loss Centers of New York. How are you, sir? Good, Rita. Great to be back. You know, that's just a, that's a low estimate. Uh, just recently, uh, the Center for Disease Control uh, figured that by 2020, half the people in the in the U.S. will have diabetes, and we do know now that individuals overseas talking about the U.S. now, and uh, we can talk about the rest of the world in a little while, but uh, ha- uh, over half of the people of age 65 have diabetes or pre-diabetes, and women with high blood pressure, two out of three, have a glucose problem. The main problem that we're fighting now is pre-diabetes. There are 79 million pre-diabetics in this country today. Most of them don't have it, and that's just a heart attack and diabetes waiting to happen. Yeah, what in, is it overweight? What's causing this increase? Uh, multiple uh, etiologies. Number one, uh, the obesity crisis without question. And it's not just being overweight, Rita. It's that belly fat, the visceral adiposity uh, that is fueling diabetes. It's something now which I call diabesity. Uh, definitely being overweight, overconsumption of calories, overconsumption of carbohydrates, massive over, over uh, uh, consumption of uh, sugar, lack of exercise, and to a certain extent, genetics. But even we really even going beyond genetics now. And then, of course, there's the toxic lifestyle that we live. Uh, so all of these things uh, are occurring. And the bad thing is, Rita, that it's filtering down into the children. The children today are fatter. They have higher blood sugars, higher blood pressure, higher cholesterol. A large uh, number of them have a fatty liver, and they now have been shown to have arterial or blood vessel changes at an early age, years and years before you develop uh, diabetes. So it's a sad situation. Yeah, it sure is. Do me a favor, Dr. Vanini, stay with us. We're going to go to a quick break. I want to find out what you think is sort of the immediate solution to turn this around, because when you hear these kind of staggering numbers, this is affecting so many people. I mean, when you think of one in 10 in America, I mean, that is staggering. It uh, It is diabetes. It could be a killer. And we're talking about You know, over half a billion people could have it by the year 2030. We're going to continue and find out what you can do to try to prevent this. We're going to continue with Dr. Fred Vanini right after the break. 800-321-8828. And we continue here on the Rita Cosby Show. We're talking about some staggering new health numbers uh, that more than half a billion people could have diabetes. um, Very, very deadly diabetes by 2030. And experts are now saying it is preventable, and it's something we all need to be aware of if you think that 1 in 10 adults could have diabetes in the near future. That is a huge number. Let's continue with Dr. Fred Vanini. Uh, he is a diabetes expert, also heart and diabetes and weight loss centers of New York, where is where he's based. And Dr. Vanini, how do we prevent it? What do you say to the folks who are listening out there who go, oh, my gosh, 1 in 10? Yeah, well, it's more than one in ten. That's that's a low count. It's five in ten, easily. As a matter of fact, I interviewed Richard Bernstein. He's one of the leading diabetologists in the world on my WOR radio show on Sundays. And he said, well, Fred, uh, anyone born today, chances are when they die, they will have diabetes. That's incredible. That means everyone's getting it. Well, I myself, you know, uh, took care of myself. I was at one time 325 pounds. I lost over 100 pounds 20 years ago. I started to put the weight back on. I went into uh, uh, diabetes, and I had to uh, reverse myself, and I did so by uh, diet exercise and using a whole uh, program, uh, which I have written about in my book, Beating Diabetes. And in this book, I explain five-step program, diet, exercise, stress reduction, uh, nutraceuticals, and pharmaceuticals. I myself was diabetes and, and a diabetic, and I reversed it. I reversed it through my program. How, yeah, how long did that take you, by the way, to reverse it? How long for folks who are listening? 
Uh, well, I lost over 100 pounds within six months, uh, but uh, then uh, I regained weight back, and then I had to reinvent myself. I went into a lot of nutraceuticals that are available on my website, and now there are miracle drugs for diabetes and weight loss. There's something called Victosa. Most doctors don't even know about it, but it's an absolute miracle uh, drug uh, for diabetes. It's an injectable blood of drug that helps you lose weight. I'm a little shook up here because well, I'm writing it. Well, topic. let me just tell you, by the way, it's amazing. You said you lost 100 pounds in six months. And if that's not uh, an inspiration for everybody listening out there, that's incredible. Uh, Dr. Benini, awesome to have you on. I always love having you on the show. And uh, everybody, great advice. This is the Rita Cosby Show.